Most Mac users think their Macs are unbreachable. They cannot be compromised. But that is only half true. Many security settings on Macs are off by default. So in this video, first we will uncover what protects a Mac and then what can be done to make it even bulletproof in just seven steps. Your Mac has a built-in antivirus. It is called X-Protect. They scan all the files and apps in the background, look for possible malware and remove it. And then there is a gatekeeper. The gatekeeper on Mac checks every app you try to open. And especially it allows only the apps downloaded from the App Store or from a verified developer. On many occasions, if you have noticed, if you've downloaded something outside the App Store and you try to open it, you get extra layer of prompts before you even run that app. Therefore, it is really important that you leave this security setting the way it is, allow applications from App Store and known developers. However, if you want to go completely strict about downloading and installing any app, then you can choose this option in this window, App Store. It is available under privacy and security in system settings. So these three are automatically protecting your Mac, your data against most of the bad files or the apps. Apple now sends some micro patches between the big updates or big Mac OS upgrades. Therefore, it is really important that you enable security responses and system file. Click on Apple icon left side top corner, get to system settings. In this window, under general, click on software update on right. In this window, you will find if there is any possible update or upgrade available for your Mac OS. But what is crucial in this window is this automatic updates. It is already on on my Mac right now. If you see this I information button, if you hit it, there are three options available in the next window. They all are supposed to be on, especially this one installed security responses and system files. So if Apple engineers find out there is any kind of uh, security loophole in Mac OS, they simply release the micro security patches to update X protect and the gatekeeper. Your Max drive is not fully encrypted by default. Under any circumstances, you lose your Mac. Somebody gets hold of it and they wish to retrieve data from the drive. With the default settings, they can. Get to system settings once again on your Mac. On left, just call it little and look for this option privacy and security. Further on right, just call it till the bottom and look for this option file vault. Click on it and in most cases, by default, you're going to find it turned off. Now you can go in and turn it on. Verify it with your Mac administrator password or touch ID. It will take a moment to encrypt your entire data on the drive. And once the encryption is completed, you're going to get a recovery key for this drive. And this is a pretty crucial part. Please remember, make a note of this recovery key, a solid note of this recovery key and keep it safe somewhere. You will be surprised to hear that your MacBook has a built-in firewall. In fact, it has got a stealth mode, but by default, it is off. Once again, get to the Mac system settings window. On left, click on network, and you're gonna see right there at the top firewall, and you will find it inactive. Click on it. The first thing, you turn it blue, and then click on this option right below options. Scroll this window down till the bottom and enable stealth mode and click OK. Now this is going to hide your Mac from random scans and probing requests. Apps love sneaking into your Mac's startup. You needed an app, you downloaded it, installed. On many occasions, you will find apps running in the background. They always kick in at the startup while you don't need them at all. So while you're in the system settings window, click on general. On right, look for login items and extensions. In the top section of this window, you will notice the apps, they open automatically at the login. So if you don't want them, you can simply select and remove them from here. Check all these apps. Those are running in the background. They can sync, they can update. So if there's any app in this list you do not want, 
them to run in the background, you can simply go ahead and click on them and turn them off. You already enabled encryption on your Mac drive. We are good there. How about the data in iCloud? Is it encrypted too? While you are in system settings window on left, just call it down, look for an option iCloud. After you are in this iCloud window on right, if you scroll it till the bottom, you will notice an option advanced data protection. You can take a moment and read everything in this window, how it works, what it encrypts, and what are the consequences. This one feature enables the end-to-end -end encryption on your iCloud data. Even if Apple wants to check into the backups or your data, they cannot. And when you're ready, click on turn on. This is really important. You will be responsible for your data recovery. Click on set up account recovery, add a recovery contact. Over here, you can add a person from your address book who you want as a backup. In case you lose access to your account, you can use them to help you retrieve your account data back and then continue. At the end of this process, you will be provided with a recovery key. Keep that very safe, deadly safe. That they are tracking cookies every time you access a website, you open a link. In the advertisers, they can track certain type of data from a device, the type of websites you're visiting, and they can push more and more notifications or ads on your device. If you have iCloud Plus membership, in the same window, you're going to notice an option which is Private Relay. From this window, you can enable Private Relay. Private Relay kind of puts a mask on your actual IP address and hides your browsing activities, not only from the uh, developers or the advertisers, but also from Apple. Nobody can know what you're searching for, what kind of websites you're visiting when the Private Relay is on. Now also click on Safari. At the left side top corner, again, click on Safari and get to Settings. In the Settings window, make sure you click on Privacy in this privacy window, you need to make sure you enable hide IP address. Together, they mask your location and browsing identity. Tell me in the comment section, which one did you forget till now? Also, don't forget to share this video with your friends and family. This is really crucial. Also, watch out this video. Seven bad habits most of the Mac users doing and they're slowing their Macs down over the time. Anyways, if you found this video helpful, hit that like button. And don't forget to subscribe Crazy Editors for future tech tips, tricks, and solutions. Until next time, you take care of yourself, and I will see you in the next one.